you ever take the time to think about how much time you spend commuting? On average, around the world, people spend six weeks a year traveling in their cars. But there's about to be a whole new way to cruise around town, flying taxis. We've seen flying cars in movies and in cartoons, but now they're no longer just a future dream. This is the pen taxi, and it's being developed right here in Israel. I want to show you just how fast this flying vehicle is. Right now, we're headed to see it in Netanya, which is a city about 20 miles north of where we are right now. To get there, we can either take public transportation, a bus to a train to a bus, which would take us about an hour and a half, or we can just drive. And luckily, we have a car. The GPS estimates that we're gonna arrive to our destination in about 45 minutes. But if we take the pen taxi, it'll apparently take us 10 minutes to get here. Our electrical air taxi comes in two models. One model is for cargo and one for passenger. It can carry up to four passengers, 900 pounds. It can cruise to speed of 150 miles per hour and for a range of 200 miles. So the real question is if we're gonna be able to take this thing for a ride. Not yet, but we do have a very cool model. The Pentaxi is completely autonomous, meaning passengers will be the only humans inside this flying vehicle once it's up in the air. It'll essentially be the size of an SUV with wings that are 40 feet long. Its extra wide body is designed to make passengers feel like they're flying first class, even if the idea is for this to be your average taxi one day. Five motors, why five motors? The main reason why we call this pen taxi is because the shape of a pentagon. This is the minimum number of motors that you can put in order for the safety of this vehicle to be kept. If you lose one, you still stay in the air. We plan to have the first version of the Pentaxi, which is the cargo version, in the air in 2025, which is less than three years from now. The passenger version will be approximately one year later. Pentaxi certainly isn't the only flying car on the market. Companies are already in a mad race to develop the first and most widely adopted sky vehicle. There's the Aeromobile 4.0, which transforms from a normal car into a flying one in just three minutes. And there's the Klein Vision Air Car, which just completed a half an hour test flight in Slovakia. And that's not to mention a long list of other vehicles of the future that are in development. The air taxi market is expected to grow $1.5 trillion by 2040. And since 2021, around $4.3 billion has been invested in urban air mobility. But flying cars, or taxis for that matter, have a lot of challenges ahead. To begin- Thousands of these in the air, especially if you want them to be air taxis, but that's an issue when it comes to noise pollution, right? Actually, the noise that will, this will create will be 100 times less than a helicopter. So it will be really, really quiet. Apart from just noise pollution, safety regulations have to be stringent, and flying vehicles need to be built in an environmentally friendly way. Plus, if engineers want this idea to go mainstream, these vehicles need to be made affordable. It just feels like a world with flying cars is still far away in the future. It's not the future, it's actually up and not right now. The only thing is the regulation. Those things are already flying the air. And one day we think a lot less people will be driving on the ground. But it will happen. Nobody can say exactly when it will happen.